Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your April 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here, Sagittarians, we will loosely divide your reading into sections um, <clears throat> and we will look at the overall energy for the month of April for the sign of Sagittarius before we then go into your emotional core, see what sort of comes in, what can go, what needs to be released, all that sort of stuff, before we then look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of April 2022 for the sign of Sagittarius. With no further ado, let's jump right in. So let's have a look what we got for the overall energy for Sagittarians. Here we go. <clears throat> you have the panther, can't pronounce the H, panther, panther, <laughs> the panther and the frog. In the month of April 2022, for the sign of Sagittarius, what you're being asked is to understand the more you hide your uniqueness, the more you hide who you truly are, the less you will accomplish. So therefore, since this is the first animal guide to show up here, um, accompanied by the frog, what the panther is saying to you, you are unique, right? And you are perfect uh, the way you are. And you are certainly more than good enough the way you are. Therefore, it feels to me <clears throat> that you ought to reflect on whoever, whatever is happening in your life, if that makes sense. Whatever my day-to-day -day life is like, do I really feel like I can express, uh, express myself truly, sincerely, the way I am, if that makes sense? So they're asking you to reflect because when you have the panther, what the panther is saying, you know, there's a part of you that is in hiding, if that makes sense. Could be a self-esteem thing, could also be about, okay, I'm holding back here a little thing, but all the guides are saying to you is, it's not really working for you because you have the frog as the outcoming energy, outgoing energy for your overall energy. And the frog is saying, I'm an amphibian. I can live on land and on water. Therefore, if you stop hiding your true self, and that could be as simple as just following orders, if that makes sense, right? <coughs> Even though we're not yet looking at the opportunity, which is about work, but they're bringing this up here straight away. Um, if you stop hmm, hiding your uniqueness, holding back somehow, um, whatever comes to you, you will be more than capable of doing it, right? So this is what we got for your overall energy for the month of April, for the sign of Sagittarius. Let's have a look at your emotional core. Let's see what we got for you. We got quite a lot. <laughs> you have the gray fox. You have the doll sheep in the middle. The one in the middle is always the most important. And you have the ring-necked pheasant. <clears throat> so with regards to your emotions, which is about letting go um, of things that are not working, but also about um, progressing in the area of releasing old trauma, if that makes sense, right? And also looking at relationships. So this is a general reading, right? Which means it doesn't resonate with all of you. If you just pay attention to what the guides are saying, your soul will be able to figure out if this is a message for you, if that makes sense, right? Because ultimately, <clears throat> with regards to how you feel emotionally, you have the grey fox as the incoming energy. And the grey fox is saying to you, you're an old soul. So whatever you've been through shouldn't and doesn't have to define you at all. So well, that's the first message you got. Then you have the doll sheep in the middle. The one in the middle, because it's surrounded by the other two, is always the one we pay the most attention to. <coughs> and the doll sheep is saying to you, hey, I can go up, climb that mountain, and when I'm up there, I'm just as safe, right? Or I feel just as safe as, as you know, being down there. The point they're making is, um, if you understand that you don't have to be defined by your past or by trauma of your past, um, or even entering a new relationship, um, whatever has happened to you 
doesn't necessarily repeat itself, provided you let go of what has happened. Because for as long as you didn't don't learn the lesson, the universe will send you the same types. <clears throat> but what I'm getting is because the doll sheep is what we call a money card. It's a bit of a weird word. Because money is not a spiritual currency, right? Um, so you cannot manifest money. But because the doll sheep hangs on a cliff on two legs and doesn't fall, it's just saying to you, you know what? Whatever you put your mind to can be achieved. <clears throat> and then you have the ring-necked pheasant as the outgoing energy. That's the only low energy card here. And it isn't the outgoing energy. And the ring-necked pheasant literally is a symbol for feeling or being misunderstood. Therefore, what they're saying to you is, you know, remember you're an old soul, you can achieve anything, right? But trying to be or feel acknowledged seems to be the issue here, right? And all the guides are saying is, remember, you're good enough, right? It's the whole point the Great Fox was making. You're good enough. And eventually, when you find your own strengths, um, you will be able to literally um, say to yourself that you're awesome and acknowledge yourself in your healing that you have gone through, right? Or even in a new relationship. See, what I'm getting here is quite interesting because to me, with the energy that presents itself here, they're not saying anything about relationships that have gone on for quite some time to see what can be tweaked. It's just not the case here. This is more about healing from old relationships or how to progress in a semi-new one, if that makes sense, right? And because you have to fasten this, the outgoing energy, which is one of the uh, really, you know, super intelligent birds and one of the most shot, unfortunately, so what the guys are saying to you is putting words to things might not necessarily help, right? So feel who you are, allow yourself to go through things and remember that at the end of the day, which is the, the one in the middle, your main energy for your emotions, you'll get there. Right? So don't look for people understanding what you're going through. Don't, don't look for, sounds really wrong, but it's just the way I get it. Don't necessarily look for sympathy either. Just understand I'm going through stuff and whether or not you get it means shit to me. Right? As long as you go through it, right, eventually you will feel like, wow, I've made so much progress. And because you have a different energy, the universe always answers you on your energy level. So when you have made progress, and you feel like, yeah, I'm a stronger person. I have let go of stuff that doesn't serve me. The universe has literally no other option than to send you someone that wants you to do, to do well. right? So if you are in a relationship that is sort of semi-new and now you are, you are probably healing from what has happened in an old one, <clears throat> your current partner needs to understand that you don't have to explain anything to him or her. right? But you need some space to heal to get through this. Right? So that's what I got for your sign of Sagittarius for the month of April with regards to your emotions, right? Now let's have a look at opportunities as they present themselves to you again in the sign of Sagittarius in the months of April 2022. Now, you're watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Yannack. Please like, subscribe and share widely. So, opportunities. You have the Divine Rogue and the Beaver. Let me just show you these guys. Okay, what the guides are saying, in order for you to actually hmm, manifest opportunities, you have to speak, huh, it's just the way they give it to me, tongue in cheek. So don't say, I'm really fed up with this shit, I really want this, la la la. So it's more, the, the, the less you plead about what it is you really want, uh, the more it works. And if you're lighthearted about anything you manifest and have less expectations, but still uh, say to yourself, I'm going for this, right? I'm not going to leave this up to fate, if that makes sense. Um, but it is all more lighthearted, which is what the divine rogue means. Um, things will be much easier to go in your favor because then there's no stress attached to it and no, um, no um, force, if that makes sense, right? And then you have the beaver. And the beaver is saying to you, you know, 
as a symbolism, you know, um, beaver hold hands when they go to sleep so you don't drift off, right? Um, if you feel you're not progressing with whatever it is that sustains you, right? Reach out to someone that understands while you may be very different to how they are, um, that understand that you're going through um, a transformation, that you want things to work. So, so you have someone to bounce off of, ideas off of, if that makes sense. Is that even a word? Off of? Well, anyway, bloody foreigner, can't help it. <laughs> Ultimately, what the guides are saying is because you have the beaver as the outgoing energy, right? Someone will hold your hand while you go through this, right? Um, and opportunities cannot come to you when you're overly focused. Also, don't limit yourself to just one thing, right? If you feel like, oh, if I can get this job, right, um, then it's very, very close to home. I get this. But the point is, <clears throat> it doesn't work that way. Because then you only manifest what you can see and you therefore, in a way, dismiss whatever the universe could have possibly shown you and guided you towards, right? So the more focused you are, as nice as it is to be focused in this month, the month of April 2022, right, Sagittarians, it doesn't work if you limit yourself and are sort of a bit narrow-minded at all. Okie dokie, guys, that's all I got for you, right, and I'll see you all next month. Bye-bye.